Hello, my darlings. Welcome to Mum D Does. I am D, a mum who does. And today I want to talk to you about launching my new blog and YouTube channel and the purpose behind this idea and how it all came together. I decided to start keeping a blog and a vlog um, as a personal journal of this brand new experience in my life. My husband is set to go away for seven months in January and he's leaving me alone with our two-year-old son uh, on a remote island in Orkney where I have a small holding with some chickens and two dogs to look after as well as some projects of my own that I am um, taking part in and I've never really been on my own before um, James has always been there to look after uh, the household, the bills, the shopping, the bins, the cooking, um, housework and, and, and everything else that falls under the general life um, and uh, homekeeping. When Ronnie was born, James was a real rock for me. He was looking after me so that I had more time and opportunities to look after Ron. And so because this is such a change for me, I decided to document it in a sort of a journal format, for both on my blog and with these YouTube videos. Um, it is my hope that I capture these memories for both myself and our little boy, uh, for James, and also perhaps build a community around myself of uh, like-minded, supportive people who are perhaps in a similar situation or who would like some insight and information if they are thinking about being in a similar situation. Also because daddy is going to be away, this is going to provide a perfect opportunity for us to capture all those precious moments and memories um, so that James can watch these videos and stay up to date with how Ronnie is doing and developing and growing up. So this is my husband James. Hello. And our son Ron, who's going to be two and a half when James goes away. So the terrible twos and I'm on my own. Thank you, oh, James. Yes. Oh, my pleasure. <laughs> James has always been a military man and he was serving in the armed forces when we got married. Um, and although I managed to drag you out, I always knew the day would come when the draw of it all comes back oh, yes. and you go to join again. Um, I guess I just didn't expect it to be for us to be in this situation where we are really remote and also for us to have such a young boy. If that's something I have to step up and do, then that's what I'm going to do. And I'm Thank inviting... you really well. <laughs> so you say now. <laughs> <laughs> what made you think about joining the RFA? The terrible twos did. I know, it's four months away at a time. It's cheaper than divorce, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no, not quite. Yeah, so one morning just before Christmas last year, um, James woke up and he said, I've been thinking. That's always dangerous to you. And that's always dangerous, that's true. Last time you said that, we ended up in Orkney. <laughs> yeah, we did. And I immediately started thinking what that would mean for me and the change of life. That's suppose, imminent. It is, but the best part of the year of planning and thinking and going through the application process. And with so. each stage, it becomes more and more certain and more and more real as well. I'm also looking forward to having my own routine and my own projects and my own time. I invite you all to join me and witness our life on a very remote island in Orkney where the view from our window is an uninhabited island and we have cows for company and neighbours. 